Welcome to my review of the first generation Apple TV running Leopard. On the right hand side you will see the Apple TV running Leopard. I have removed the base cover because it dissipates more heat that way. The base cover was covering the vents which allowed for very little heat to get out of the box. I also have it running on its side so it has more airflow through it. Now here is OS X running on the Apple TV. I'm going to go into my finder here and go pull up some applic an application called Activity Monitor. The reason I'm pulling up this application is, is allowing you, the, the viewers, to see how much of the uh, memory is being used for OS X. It's using 184 megabytes right now. Currently, uh, a standard installation of Leopard would run about 260 to 200 megabytes determined on what kind of applications you add on to that that standard um, basic installation. Well, this one has been pared down. The things I've done to it, as I have allowed for very, very few applications to be used. As you can see here, I only have 15 applications in my applications queue. And also, I have taken out some more of the core applications so that I can be more productive without needing to use them. I've taken out iCal, uh, iChat, Safari, the directory for other directory services, um, Bluetooth utilities, Spotlight, Dashboard, the Automator, and quite a few other little processes that the operating system did not need for running a productivity machine. Now, to prove to you that this is a Apple TV, oops, I'm going to go into About This Mac, go with More Info, and you will see here that it is an Apple TV running Leopard. It says Apple TV 1.1. Now the reason I like this is because I can actually run two or three applications simultaneously and the three that I've chosen to run most of the time are either Google Chrome, iTunes, or Pages. Now with those, with those three programs or applications I can get a lot more work done by just jamming out and, and typing out papers or cruising the internet and listening to music. Other than that, I don't need anything else. So, thank you for my review, or thank you for listening to my review of the Apple TV. And if this is something you're interested in, send me a message. And thank you very much.